what's up friends welcome back to another episode of the anime tea i'm your host and anime friend phoenix and today i'm going to be talking about babylon the anime so if you don't know or maybe you have heard of babylon it came it came out back in 2019 um the end of 2019 in winter it's a newer anime and i'm going to be talking about it today because i recently just finished it and i'm excited to tell you about it maybe it's something you might be interested in We'll see. So Babylon is a dark psychological thriller anime. So let's get into the synopsis. So basically Babylon is about um, this guy named Zen Seizaki, um, and whose name literally means just, the Sei and Seizaki means just, um, the, and I think also Zen means good. So he is a public prosecutor in Japan um, and he's all about he's really serious about his job like he wants to get he wants to make sure he does everything in his power to make sure everything is good everything is right everything's just he is justice he is batman this series really focuses on the idea of life versus death and good versus evil trigger warning for the show for sure they talk about a lot of self-harm um and uh suicide so if you're really sensitive to that i do not recommend the show it's a very it has very very mature themes um and the entire basis of the show is if suicide is a good thing or a bad thing basically it should be a crime is it good is it evil um and discussing themes like that so it gets really deep into those themes and this is all plagued and this is all portrayed through the main character zen and the main antagonist ai megase um who is just pure evil like who um, I'm gonna get into that more later when I get into the spoiler stuff but for now the non spoiler stuff let's talk about the show as a whole um, it's a 12 episode series it is super fast uh, paced everything it's one of those anime where something crazy happens at the end of every episode um, that you either don't expect or you're just like completely shocked by um, you're introduced to characters and you start to like them and then something happens that's usual that's that's how I would describe the show um, I would say from the beginning the first like eight episodes were so like back to back and so well and so concise and well done like they each followed each other very very well um, and but once we get to like episode eight it takes like a huge twist and like you're just like you're a little lost at the beginning um you kind of gain it back but it gets really confusing after that so i would say as a series for the series as a whole um i think i'd give it like a, a seven and a half out of ten um just because the first eight episodes started so strong and you knew what like you could clearly see where they were going but also the twist at every single at the end of every single episode still got you um so they did a really good job with that and showing the subtle breakdown of the main character as he's confronting Ai Megase the main antagonist and um debating with himself what is good and evil before we go on um don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the anime tea new episodes out every week and don't forget to turn on notifications so you can see when brand new videos pop up um now moving on to the spoiler 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 heavy explanation of the ending of the series um so putting giant spoiler warning here do not continue if you have not seen the series um but if you have let's, let's stick around <laughs> so as you know the story follows zen um and his wanting to be just throughout the entire series every time someone commits suicide when his first partner commits suicide um or his young his uh underling i'm gonna call him it when he first commits suicide and he's just like no he would never do that he had hopes for the future you know he was trying to live um so he was just like no that's not that's not right like why would he want to do that um so that's when he's first confronted to it so from that point all the way until the end where he's just broken and then he bec and he doesn't even I'm not going to say he didn't fall victim to Ai Megase's, like, hypnosis or whatever crazy power that she has, but I think that she more broke him down than 
actually manipulated him like she did it with all the other characters that she killed through suicide or had um, convinced to kill themselves through suicide. So at the end though, when they fail, the end of episode seven when they fail and Aimagase gets to like literally everyone except for Zen um, and we see Zen literally just breaking down as he has to watch his new underling um, get killed. That was, that was insane. But after that, starting episode eight, that's when a huge twist takes place and we we're just thrown in, like another character is thrown at us. This man named Alexander W. Wood, who we find out is the president of the United States and is going to basically help Zen um, try to not have this law implemented throughout the world. Um, so I feel like that was just a huge twist. I did not expect it to go in that direction. Um, like, you know, it starts off in Japan and then we just somehow automatically go all the way to the U.S. and we're thrown into all these new characters. Um, they spent a lot of time giving Alexander a lot of background so we could understand his character a little bit more. Um, and it was super weird. <laughs> like, I was lost for sure on the episode. But after we find out about him and then we find out that Zen also went to the U.S. so that he could try to become um, an FBI agent, an investigator for the series, for the, um, for the government so that he can take down Aimagase. Um, and just seeing throughout the series how, how after episode seven, how broken down he looks, his hair is disheveled, his, he left his family behind, didn't even, like there wasn't a lot of connection with his family anyway, but the fact that he left his family behind was like, dang, like he just really, he just left them. <laughs> like you're just like, I gotta go kill this person. Um, and from that point is where they get more into the idea of good and evil and if life, if dying or if someone committing suicide is truly evil um, and things like that is just a huge like discussion of what is good, what is evil, things like that. And I thought I felt like the discussion was super interesting um, because like that's such a huge theme. Like they had so much to, to discuss. There was like a whole episode of like um, the representatives of different nations in a room discussing like what is good and evil, what's universal good, what's personal good. If there's just one person in the world, is does good and evil exist? Um, why is death evil? Why is life good? Um, things like that. So it was, that was a super interesting discussion. Um, and crazy to think about, especially during like these times in the U.S. like right now. So I felt like it was super relevant. But the, <laughs> skipping to the end of the series, the conclusion that they came to with the, that life and good is continuing because good equals con like continuous movement like continuing on um, which is life and then bad or evil equals death or the end um, because death is seen as the end so that whole concept I felt like was well explained that's I think that was the answer that they got to that life is continuing death is the end like that's it um, good is continuing, bad is an ending. So one cannot exist without the other one. Um, the part that was super confusing though was literally the last like 10 minutes of the show when I Megasa got to Alexander Wood and he, and you know, whispered in his ear with her magical hypnosis shit. What is, I don't know what I Megasa's like actual powers are. I don't, I didn't understand that. If, well, like, was it hypnosis? Was it, like, did she have some supernatural power? Like, I like, I want to know what she is, and I want more explanation on that, and I wouldn't mind, like, two more episodes just diving into her character by itself, because she was just, she just felt like a symbol for bad, but she wasn't, she didn't feel human at all. Like, she felt like it was just, like, she was just there to represent evil. <laughs> like and I think that was a point but still like I feel like there was something more about her character there that they could have like dove into but you know 12 episode series trying to figure it fit it all in it was a novel um, a manga and a novel at one point so I get it anyway the 
last 10 minutes, Alexander Wood decides to kill himself because Aimagase got to him and whispered in his ear. So instead of killing himself, Zen shoots him. Um, and I guess in a way Zen shot him because it released him from the burden, it released Alexander from the burden of killing himself and the burden of feeling under that pressure to like have to release, have to do what I told him to do. Um, so I guess that was his way of doing it. I guess that was his way of being just. But then at the end when he meets Ma Ai like face to face and he's about to shoot her, I think that part, the reason that he didn't survive is because he, I, I think it's because he gave up. He, not, he was never throughout the series really like under her influence like the other characters were. It was just that she was toying with him, I feel like. And like the entire time she was toying with him, she just continued to break down his psyche until the point where he either, I believe he shot himself um, instead of her. And that's why at the very, very end, we get to see her unfortunately um in a rural town meeting his son and like you know being shook like survive what the like what <laughs> so it's a crazy series um that was my explanation of it i thought it was i think it's terrible because i honestly don't know i just i was just thinking really hard about that ending sequence and like what it meant um I wish we learned more about Ayumagase. A few more episodes would be cool. If not, I'm willing to read the manga or the novel to see like what more they they showed about her character. Um, besides that, like some weird sexual hypnosis thing that she puts on people. Anyway, that is it for this uh, review. How did you feel about the series? If you watched it, if you have not watched it. Um, will you be watching it? Do you like dark psychological thrillers? What is um, your thoughts on that? Remember that you can watch Babylon on Amazon Prime Video um, and it's 12 episodes long. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more reviews, um, reviews, anime recommendations, and, con and content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!